Wait, Hello everyone, um, welcome to back to my channel, Your Average Gamer. Today we're going to try uh, a game called Dungeons 3. I'm going to be playing it co-op with my daughter. It's actually a really fun game, especially co-op. You can play all the different modes and the campaign cooperatively. Uh, I'm going to turn the time over to her a little bit and let her explain what's going on. So, um, there's a top world and a bottom world. One is where all the good people live, and the, and the bottom world is where we will be, um, have all our guys and stuff. And uh, so we are, and um, we are in the dungeon right now, and we may, and we have like little snobs and snots, and they like dig everywhere. And uh, I really like this game. It is super fun. You can do like undead. You can upgrade like undead, orcs, um, demons. And the top world has a bunch of has a bunch of good guys and stuff we gotta do. And my favorite my favorite thing about this game is that I can stay down in the dungeon and I can just dig. I really love digging. And there is also like wormholes and stuff where um where like like there's wormholes and there's um and there's like there's dragon holes, there's wormholes and there's spiders. So you can't dig too fast or you'll dig out a bunch of that and um you have to try to get a lot of the thing a lot of um people to do it and stuff and uh, i'm gonna turn the time over to daddy all right so now you can just talk whenever you feel like it but i'm just going to explain the basics what we're doing so we're in the dungeon down here this is our dungeon heart if it dies we lose the game Heroes from the overworld will come into our dungeon and attack us, and we'll need to defend it. We have two mini-maps, one on the bottom right, this is our dungeon. On the bottom left, this is the overworld. You can click on it to switch to the top screen. And our objective is to conquer the overworld and find and destroy the enemy boss. There are a lot of different game modes, but we're just playing a basic skirmish today. Hey, Dad. Um... Why do you want me to start building first? Um, why don't you build a workshop? A workshop, got it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is we're looking for gold. Our little snots are these little goblin workers. Um, and you can see that there's two hands on the screen. My, my daughter is also playing the game with me. And we both have the same resources and we can both control the dungeon. Um, so what I did here is I found um, a gold vein that my little snots can mine gold from, and they need to put their gold into a treasury, so I had to build a treasury room. And you can build it larger here, and so they can drop the gold in the treasury, and that will reduce their walking time so they don't have to bring the gold all the way back to the dungeon heart. There's a research menu, and we're researching. I like to improve my little snots. Each time I research this, I gain one extra worker, and that will help me get gold and build my rooms faster. Uh, my daughter's building a workshop over here. I use the workshop to gain these toolboxes up on the top right, which you can use for various different things. You can build traps or other different machines inside of rooms that can help your dungeon to get stronger. Dad, wait, should I do one, or should I do two of the machines in the workshop? Um, probably two of them. Okay. Alright, so at the beginning of the game, I like to just research my little snots all the way to level 10, but I do have to be careful. If the enemy attacks my dungeon, I will need to build some army, some fighting units. Right now I have a population of 0 out of 5, so that means I can get 5 warriors to help defend my dungeon. What should I build now? Like a, um, should I 
build the, um, what, should I upgrade the demon so I can start building the demon room? Let's see, you want to research a vortex? Yeah, because we need to do that. Let me get one more little snot first, okay. and then yes. How big should it be? Do you think this is big enough? I think that's good to start. Okay. This is the room she's talking about. Um, different rooms need different sizes, and I'll explain more as we play. But you can always expand them. Here's the workshop she built, and our little snots go here to these Creato mats. And they will build some toolboxes, as you can see here. And then they'll drop them in the storage room for later use. Now I have ten toolboxes. And my gold is increasing as my little snots continue to mine gold. So we'll need to continue to explore the dungeon. You do need to be careful of exploring too far because you'll find that there are dangers in the dungeon as well. Hey Dad, um, so can I uh, research the vortex so I can start doing like, um, demons and stuff? Yes. And should I do the Arcanium? Um, when you can, but first we're going to need to build some enemies demons. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Yeah, we've got oh, some enemies. enemies. It's alright. We do have one unit, hey, our hey. hero, Talia, already. If you press F2, you'll pick up all of your units and drop them Whoa. where you want them to be. And then when you're in the dungeon, they oh, act ouch. autonomously. For the absolute And so they evil. will just kind of fight on their own and you don't have direct control of them. But when you move on to the overworld with your army, then it becomes more of an RTS style game and you can control your units directly. So our hero, Talia, is currently level one and she is strong enough to defeat these enemies here. So I'm going to continue to improve the research with my little snots while Talia defends the base. Should I upgrade the Arcanium right now or should I, what should I upgrade right now? Um, let's just build a few rooms and try to find gold to mine okay. and research all the little snots up to full. And then I'm going to build five demons mm -hmm. after you build a vortex. So you need to build a vortex now that you've okay, researched I it. I will do that as soon as I get to school. Perfect. And then once you've built that vortex room, then we can start recruiting our demons. Already done it. Yeah, I keep using the gold to get more little snots, but we're almost there. Okay, I just did it. The snots are working on it and doing some gold. Alright, as you can see, they're turning this room into, what's it called? A uh, vortex? Yeah, vortex. And then, I'll need to, I'll now be able to buy these imps here. It costs 500 gold, so now I've bought one imp and they're going to build a little house for him inside this room. So as you build more imps and more units, you'll need to expand the size of their living quarters. You also need to feed your units, so we will need to research what's called a gobbler farm soon. Ooh, I can do that. Okay. I'll do that as soon as I, as soon as I get enough room to do this. Yeah, so go ahead and build a place for a gobbler farm. Small. Start out that size should be good. Got it. I can see what she's doing up here. But don't research the Alder Farm yet. I need to improve my little snots twice more, and then we'll have all the workers we can get. Okay, I won't upgrade it yet. I will just wait for you. Alright, yeah, I'm just waiting for the gold to come in. I need 1500 more gold for the last upgrade. We've got these gold veins that they're mining from. We found two of them, and I built a treasury next to each one. Got it. 
and so they're dropping the gold in our treasury. I found some more gold and toolboxes. Very nice. can. You have this hand up in the sky and you can pick up various things. Like I can pick up Talia and drop her where I want. Or I could pick up some gold and move it from one location to another. Your little snots will also just take care of all the work on their own if you don't want to. This here is some magic, but I don't have a room to store it yet, so my little snots haven't put it anywhere. I've got three resources, gold, magic, and evilness. Would you like to build a, what's it called? The gobbler farm, research and build the gobbler oh, farm? Oh yes, sure. Um, so while she's doing that, I'm going to buy Oh, we never researched it, I forgot. A few imps. All right, go ahead and research it. And I'll talk about evilness while she does that. Evilness is basically our secondary resource that we need to continue our research. And the way you get evilness is by going up into the overworld and finding one of these islands. And they call it an island of evilness. It'll be defended by the enemy. If you take it over, then it will slowly start generating evilness for you. So I'm going to continue to build imps until and I have five of them. The evilness islands you have, the faster and more mana you get. I mean, sorry, evilness. Yep, that's right. What should I build now? Because I already built the gobbler farm, and I have a room right here. Hmm, I think we need to wait until we get a little more gold, and okay. I need to build one more imp so I can take an island of evilness. So let's let our little snots focus on mining gold. Just for a few minutes. Got it. Alright, now I've recruited five imps. And the more warriors you have, the more food that they need, and the more gold that you do you need to spend. A payday occurs every few minutes, and your creatures need to be paid. Otherwise they will not listen to you. You can build that gobbler farm a little bigger if you'd like. Okay. This is called a gobbler farm. It hatches little turkeys that we use for food. And if the um, demons or orcs or anything um, get too hungry and they don't have enough food, then they go on, what's it called? Strike. Strike. They go on strike where they don't listen to us. All right, um, while my daughter is taking care of the dungeon, I have taken my army up into the overworld, <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to take this island of evilness. Hey! And again, when you're up on the overworld, control your army Enemies in an RTS the dungeon. manner. Enemies in the dungeon, Dad! Okay, so some enemies have entered the dungeon, and I have all of our warriors up top. So I'm going to try to just take this island really quickly, and then I need to run back to the dungeon, or else the heroes will destroy my dungeon heart. They're coming close already. So this is the dungeon entrance. I've got to run back through there. And while I wait for that army to get back, we can take a look at the heroes that have entered the dungeon. We've got a warrior, a guard, a apprentice, Defend and a warrior. the dungeon heart. And they are now attacking our dungeon heart, but our army got down through the entrance. I pressed F2 to select all of them, and then I was able to bring them over here to help defend my base. We are going to need some more mana soon, so would you like to research the Arcanium, Arcanium and build yeah. us an Arcanium so we can get more magic? We only have 237 points left. Yeah, that'll slowly increase now that we have an island of evilness up top right here. It slowly generates evilness for us. But we are out of mana. And what's happening oh, here is three of my demons died to the heroes. And it looks like they're being 
revived, but now it's paused. That's because we're out of mana. The demons will revive, but it takes mana. So these three are just kind of in stasis until we get more mana. I am trying to work it right now. And how many um, mana shrines should I do? One or two? Probably two to start. There are three different types of units you can build. Um, well, more than three, but there's yeah. three groupings. You can go with Horde, you can go with Undead, or you can go with Demons. The Demons are the one we're doing. Heroes are on their way to one of your islands Yeah, we've of decided to focus on Demons for this current playthrough. Dad, the um, narrator just said um, that um, enemies are on their way to our island of Eagles. Yes, so we may lose that because we don't have enough mana yet for our Demons to revive. So, I'm trying to get it as fast as I can. Yeah, that's alright. Is there any way to, like, you know how we get, like, a gold vein? Is there a way to get a mana vein? There is not. You can find mana out in the dungeon. Like this gold I'm mining here, you can find mana, but you don't find large sources of mana. You have to create your mana. So, my daughter built this Arcanium, and she's placing these mana shrines inside. Once the mana shrines are completed, our demons can come into this room and work at the mana shrine, and that will um, increase our mana storage. Do you want me to start building like a? Um, do you want me to start building a prison? Uh, yes, you can do that. I researched the graveyard. You can research a prison now, and you can build both of those. I just gotta make uh, digging rooms, and very sorry if I dig up a, a um, one of those monster holes, because yeah. I just made two rooms that are a little big, so... That's alright. One of your islands of evilness is under attack. Okay, so the heroes are taking this island back, and we're gonna start. We're gonna not generate our evilness anymore once they do. I was not able to defend it because we're still working on getting our mana to revive our demons. The enemy has captured one of your and Now we've got this mana shrine here. Our demons are starting to produce mana that is stored in this room. If we want to get more maximum mana, we need to increase the size of this room. I am upgrading the... I mean, researching the prison right now. We are really running out of evilness. Alright, so our mana is starting to build up, but then it's also going down, because our demons are using it. But, very soon... Enemies have entered the there. dungeon! Enemies are in the dungeon! Alright, let's take the army over here to deal with them. Help! Grab this guy and toss him back here, I don't even want him to die if I can avoid it. Your units do get stronger and gain levels, as you can see. Um, these guys are now level 2, and Talia is level 3. Talia only gains experience through researching here, by increasing her strength. I would like my demons to make more mana, so I'll put them in the mana room. I also found a diamond vein here. I built a treasury around that. I am okay, going the to have to. Is getting built and our graveyard is built. It's not a very big prison, but it should do for now. Alright, do you want to explain what the graveyard and prison do? Ah, yes. So the graveyard, um, it would give us our undead if we researched, um, these zombies and undead. Um, where is it? Like, it would be like. And they don't see your screen, so you can just talk about it, but they so won't see where you're pointing. Like, um, it would be like vampires and zombies and like ghost girls, but we're not focusing on that today. We are focusing on the demons and the prison. The prison is one of my favorites because um you because the um little snots. 
one is doing it right now is bringing one of the um it's an apprentice right now and they have gray health and they're bringing more in they have gray health and you can slap them and slowly it will go down and um and it will go and if, when it gets all the way down it they will die and turn into like little um little skeleton warriors and like you don't want to hit them um all the way down down or they won't do it you want to hit them so like they're low health and then they'll just um and then they'll like die also and then <coughs> they will um turn into those little um these little skeletons also if you don't if you don't smack them while they stay in the dungeon, they slowly lose health, and they give you evilness as well. So you can just let them sit in the dungeon and slowly decay and increase your evilness. Or you can, if you need more warriors, then you can just quickly like slap them, slap them, slap them to get more skeleton warriors. And part of the funny thing about them is um, sometimes they will bow to you and they do like hey! um, they heroes do, like, are on their way to one of your islands of evilness. Like where they where like on the people go, sir, yes sir, with their hand on their head. He goes like that, sir, yes sir, and then he jumps up and down. <laughs> That's a funny thing about these little skeletons. And Dad, is there anything else? You can say whatever you like. Okay, um, is there anything else you want me to do? Time to take out the trash. Um, Destroy them all! I think I dug more in the gobbler farm if you want to build it. Finish that gobbler farm up. Okay, baby! I'm currently up on the overworld, defending our island from the heroes that are trying to attack it. How are you enjoying this game, Dad? What can I do for you? Yeah, I like this game, especially co-op. It's more fun to play together. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? And What's up? you can slap the turkeys, oh, but hey. don't want to, because then they can die, and then there's um, and then there's not as much food. So if you slap the turkeys. They will die, but it is kind of satisfying to do it, but you no! should do that. Oh, and it looks like Tally just died. I'll be back. Yeah, so um, I've just been fighting up top, and some of my units have died. Talia did as well, but she can resurrect back in our base. She will revive every time she dies, and every time you hear, no! Yes. <clears throat> I've also researched a spell. I can use the demon portal, which is basically like just a way to teleport from the overworld back to your base. But it does take mana. I'm currently at zero, so they have to take the long walk back to my dungeon entrance. It looks like we will be getting a lot more skeleton warriors because they have been dying like crazy. We just got one more new one. One more is dying, and it's going to turn to one. So, so far we got three, four, and then this gunner guy is going to turn to one in just a second. And he just did. And the little skeleton, again, did that super funny bow. Dun dun! <laughs> Alright, so these are the skeleton archers she's talking about. We now have some skeleton archers to help defend our base. Look at the creatures uh, army tab over here. You can see all the army we have. And we have one group of skeleton archers, which includes four. Hey dad, if we're not doing any undead stuff, it's then why payday. are we building stuff in the undead? Um, the archers need a place to live, so this little these little gravestones here are kinda like their bed. If they die, they'll go back here to revive. We can also get a pack of zombies if we have more heroes die in our dungeon. We can put four of them in the graveyard, and they'll turn into a pack of zombies to help defend our base. Ooh, I always thought 
thought you just turned into prison and you turned into those little skeletons. I never thought you could turn into zombies. Yep, you definitely can. You never told me that before. That's alright. Okay, so I just researched this arachnid. It's another demon type unit. And now that I have upgraded, upgraded my supply, I can get up to nine creatures. So it looks like we upgraded a banshee. Yeah, we could ma make a banshee as well, but in this playthrough we're just going to focus on the demons. And where do we upgrade? I don't understand the question. You can go ahead and answer it for them. But then, like, why did we upgrade the um, banshee if we're not going to use it? You get the banshee by default if you build a graveyard. Oh! And we built the graveyard so we could get some zombies and skeletons. Got it. But our main thing is, um, like, the demons, right? Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. You can go on this left path and research um, goblins and orcs and naga and traps to defend your dungeon. You and go the down. only way to um, get to like the traps by upgrading all the um, the orc stuff to get to the traps. So later in the video we might do um, where we upgrade some traps. And we might not, we might win sooner than, than I think. Alright, um, right here, our demon room, our vortex, has become full. And so I need to expand it if I want to build more demons. I could expand it. Yeah, go ahead and fill that up. Okay, I'm just doing the vortex crap. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and while she's doing that, I now have a decent amount of mana and gold. Throw me at the, the enemy! back up to the open world and continue looking for the boss and for these islands of evilness. And now that I have enough mana, if the heroes attack our dungeon, I can use this spell over here to demon portal back to the base quickly. And you see I've got my little skeleton archers with me. They're currently only level one. So they won't do very much damage, but they still will help. Especially if we get a lot of them. Yeah. By default, all of your units can level up to level 3. But if you want them to get past level 3, you'll have to do some more uh, research and upgrades for those specific units. Hey Dad, could I start upgrading um, some traps? I don't think we'll have time to show off the traps in this video, mm -hmm. so I would just go ahead and continue researching more creatures and maybe get us some um, succubus. Succubus? What are those? They are some more demon types that you can use, and they can mind control the heroes temporarily. Oh, oh, no. so I have to do the lecture hall first. Yeah, so why don't you research and build us a lecture hall, and then we can talk about what that does for us as well. And then I have to wait to get 200... Oh, never mind. Now I just gotta dig a little area. So I can um, build a lecture hall. Alright, and again, while I'm up here fighting the heroes, my daughter is making progress down in the dungeon. She's been building our vortex a little larger, so we can increase our army capacity. Army capacity. That is the maximum amount of units you can have. Right now it says 9 out of 9. So if we want to get more units, we need to also upgrade Enemies more creatures down the here. dungeon. There are, there are enemies in the dungeon and we have some Okay. So we're going to make a portal here, because there's enemies in the dungeon. And we can walk through this portal, and it'll take us directly to our dungeon heart. So we can defend against the enemy heroes that have come to attack us. 
Want to attack one of your islands of evilness? Ooh, they're gonna attack one of our islands. All right, I'm going to go defend that with the army. I'll tell you if enemies come. Would you like to explain to everyone what lecture hall does for Ouch. us Ouch. as you build that? Yeah. That's all right. If you build the lecture hall, it lets you get additional research options and upgrades and for your different oh, yeah, rooms. And you both the fun. And all right. So up in the overworld, we ran into a veteran, as well as a few other groups, and they defeated us. So our army has died, and is now, as since they're demons, they're going to be revived here. We are running low on mana, so I need to take the remaining demons I have, and put them to work in, on the mana shrines, so that the rest of my army can revive. Okay, I just did the lecture room. And if you if you go next to the lecture hall, there are little guys sleeping on the little um work things. They're like sleeping, and then they're up, and then there's flying pages. <laughs> they're actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, this is the lecture hall she's talking about. Um, because we now have a lecture hall, when we click on one of these research options, we have additional options below it. I am researching more skeletons, which will allow us to have eight skeleton archers instead of just four. Well, you can research the skeleton archers. You don't just, you don't have to just um, wait for someone to die in our dungeon. You do. You still need the bodies of heroes to turn An into skeletons. Evilness is being attacked. But now I can get up to eight of them once this research is completed. Oh, um, one of our islands of evilness is under attack. Yeah, this time we're going to lose it because my army died. I tried to defend it, but was not able to do so. It's actually pretty funny up there. There's like this like, little house green thing. Yeah. It's really funny. Sorry. The enemy has captured one of your islands of evil. Took the island of evil is back. It turned good. Yuck. Good trees, good houses, good floors. Yuck. I like our evil better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we need to get our army back. We have done that. They're still only level three. So. In order to get them to a higher level, I need to research this Chamber of Relaxation and build it. Chamber of Relaxation! Alright, would you like to build us a room that we can turn into a Chamber of Relaxation? Yeah. Oh. Oh. To this is sort of off topic of the game, but just curious. Um, you know how in some videos it shows um who is playing their faces in the corner? Are we ever gonna do that, or <laughs> are we just gonna show the game? Currently, we're just showing the game. I don't have a webcam set up. I'm just Oh, 
are working on that right now. They are digging. You've discovered a number of ruins in the underground. We got some sort of new, um, like little tree things. Yeah, we found new little tree things. Down in the dungeon? Yeah. All right, I'll bring the army down soon to deal with them. Because they're like rooting, and they're already coming to the dungeon. Okay, let me bring another enemy portal. After I deal with these enemies. Go back inside. Oh, there you are. Yeah, so she dug farther into the dungeon and found some enemies here. These little rootlings. Oh, Daddy, I think they are... 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 Yeah, they were trying to. Alright, so we killed that first group, but they still have a room over here that will keep spawning enemies until I deal with it. So we'll bring our army over here to fight them. Yeah, fight the roots, running for rootness! <laughs> hey Dad. Yes. Um, in this video, so oh, we can make jokes about the game. You sure hey, can. Dad. She's using my brother's account at the moment, so that's why. That's funny. Alright. Found... Okay, I think, I think this is the level boss. If we defeat these enemies here, that's how we can win the game. I'm not sure that we're currently strong enough. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm, maybe we can focus on the healer. There are enemies in your dungeon. Enemies in there the are dungeon. enemies in our dungeon. Okay. We can take out the healer and then back away real quickly. And run through this portal. It looks like the enemies that are in our dungeon right now is one novice? Novice or novice? Uh, I, I pronounce it novice, but you can say it how you'd like. So it's a novice, I'm a warrior, and um, I'm pretty sure there's one person, I can't see the others. That's alright. Yeah, there's different enemy types and they have different attacks. You can also research different things here to increase the strength of your creatures, as well as the number. I can get up to 15 now, so why don't I go ahead and buy a few more succubus to add to our army. When you have some spare time, would you like to make our demon room even bigger? When you've run out of bedrooms? I was going to make the, um, what is it? Uh, the lecture hall, but my little snots messed up. And okay. it's taking a little longer than I want, so, so I will wait until the lecture hall, and I will just walk up to you. Okay. While you do that, I am attempting to take on the boss of the overworld. Is this the demon room? No? Yeah. Alright, we took down two of the three, and now we've got Elric the Resurrector. Okay, Dad, I add three more lines. Oh, we victory! Yeah, we took down the boss. So that was just a simple level. Every time you play, there's different modifiers, there'll be a different boss. You can play different maps, and the campaign is kind of like a spoof of a lot of different genres. Mostly fantasy, Lord of the Rings... 
um, Warhammer, Star Wars, that kind of thing. And you should also watch what I'm doing. It's a fun movie. <laughs> Agreed. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I'm, I know my daughter was excited to make a video with me. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like the video. Let me know what you thought. And have a good day. See you next time.